The avatar is dead. There's no balance in the executive branch, nor in the judicial or legislative. We believed in this system for eight years before everything changed. We were clinging onto false hope that Obama was the avatar. What an amazing lie that was, living in false harmony. We were so surprised when the Fire Nation attacked. It has been three years and the world needs saving. Fire Lord Ozai and his nation grow stronger each day, scorching the earth, evaporating the water, heating the air until our lungs cook on the inside, a dictatorship where we are brainwashed into thinking we are spreading our greatness with the rest of the world. That there is no war in Afghanistan, in North and South Korea, in Kuwait, in Iran, in Syria, at the U.S.-Mexico border one day, then destroying it the next. They are murdering the ocean spirit and there's no one to take its place. We desperately tried to look for the next avatar to save the earth from caving in on itself and plummeting into the flames while the Fire Nation looks on, mockingly tweets, that's rough, buddy. They don't bother to cover up their swastikas, don't bother to put away their MAGA hats even when the sun isn't out anymore, the comet approaches. In 11 years, this world will be doomed and this Fire Lord will be in office for half that time when all the while we are asking ourselves, how could we let this happen? America tells me I was lucky to be born into this modern day fire nation, born with the ability to summon the flames at the palm of my hand, at the tip of my tongue, speak in its language, to give and take warmth, whether it be body or climate, a choice to follow either the path of light or destruction. Yet, I don't know whether to call this a blessing or a curse to name myself human or inferno an ember in the fire lord's prison industrial complex that only sought to burn out me and my people. Some of them aren't lucky to be alive. Their skin wasn't hot enough to melt a bullet. Their bones not strong enough to bear the weight of the iron bars. A part of me wants to set ablaze not only myself, but the entirety of the nation as well. Yet the other just wants to extinguish this campfire of a rebellion. I fear I'll be torn apart, be devoured by my own creation in an attempt to restore the peace when I know there was no peace in America to begin with. But there are pieces of those who never made it home, who never embraced their loved ones. Again, there are people who have never healed. Their worlds have been broken, and this fire nation is to blame. So I'll throw away any hope regarding the avatar, because I realize it is time to take matters into my own hands. A spark that turns flare, scorching the path of the corrupt, combusting white supremacy, xenophobia, and every action that has led to the punishment of the innocent Fire Lord Ozai. You and your forefathers have devastated the balance of this world, and now you shall pay the ultimate price. You shall see your reign crumble. On the day of Black Sun, you saw us march onto the streets protesting your ascension to the throne, and even as the sky falls, we will still fight back, carrying the ashes of our ancestors on our coats, cradling new life in our arms. I am a warrior, and I am a girl. I stack blood pumping through this kaleidoscope heart, so see how that would go. In the challenge that I give you in the form of an Agni Kai, your blue flames against the inferno bestowed upon me by the dragons you thought you had enslaved, I'll be outside the White House if you're man enough to face me. Do we need to talk about the Avatar? Or do we need to talk about ourselves? Talk about how we shouldn't wait for a savior when we can all be the change. I am tired of praying to any spirit that will hear my plea, God, Zeus, Brahma, Vishnu, Buddha, Wisila, Boshli, when they are either dead or on the brink of, if not vengeful and out for blood, no matter it be Fire Nation or Earth Kingdom or Water Tribe or Air Nomad or Rava herself. We never needed Juan, Roku, Kiyoshi, Aang, Korra when we had the spirit of MLK, Frida Kahlo, Cesar Chavez, Ida B. Wells inside us the whole time. The avatar is dead, but we, we are alive and well, benders and non-benders. The day of black sun will soon be upon us again, but we won't need an avatar to come save us because even though our bending and fighting skills are great, we have a lot to learn before we're ready to save anyone but I believe we can save the world. Yeah.